I'm Chris Sanchez and welcome to Sonoma Views, where we talk real estate, property management, and local restaurant reviews. In this video, I'm going to talk about what it takes to get a property rent ready or move in ready before tenants move into a rental property. Thanks so much for being here. So let's get started. Well, um, I just left the property in Santa Rosa, um, back in Rural Park now. And what time is it? Jeez, 6.30 p.m. I went and met the uh, the new tenants who actually move in on Friday, today's Tuesday, and uh, just did a sort of a walkthrough for them as a courtesy opened up and let them walk through so they can measure windows and you know take a look at the space and they, they're getting ready for their move on Friday. So um, there are a few key things that I like to do before tenants move in and I just wanted to run down a quick list here because I thought this would be of uh, benefit and value to you folks. Um, off the top of my head, we got obviously a deep cleaning. We want to get that place cleaned professionally. I cannot stress that enough. I can't emphasize that enough. A professional deep cleaning. Um, every nook and cranny. So inside the cupboards, the baseboards, on top of the ceiling fan. You know, when the uh, ceiling fan, the blades on top, on top of the refrigerator. Pull out when possible, pull out the stove, pull out the refrigerator, um, inside the window tracks, uh, pull out the drawers and actually wipe on the inside of them, open the ca medicine cabinet, uh, inside the medicine cabinet, uh, towel bars, towel rings, toilet paper holders, those things accumulate dust, the top of the, um, the fixtures, light fixtures over the vanity, all those little things and my rule what I've learned over time is just out of sight out of mind and whatever's not in line line of sight it's gonna get missed so for example the top of the refrigerator you know usually it's taller than most people so people don't see it and they don't clean it so you want to make sure that you do a detailed cleaning and the key not only is it to be clean and sparkling but you want to set an expectation for the tenants when they move in now here's the kicker not not only for the tenant move in uh, the, the le level of cleanliness and the condition of the upon move in but that is the level that's the, the benchmark the criteria that we're going to hold the tenant accountable for when the tenant eventually moves out because when it comes down to the security deposit refund and you break down the, the charges the tenants are supposed to return that property in the same general condition from when they moved in and the same level of cleanliness upon move-in. So, uh, and that actually creates a lot of disputes, by the way, with uh, security deposit disputes when tenants move out. Uh, tenants move out and the owners, the landlords charge them for cleaning and there's a dispute, well, this wasn't clean when we moved in and blah, 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 you can see how it goes. So by hiring a third party company to do, the, uh, to do the deep cleaning, we'll have record of actually having that cleaning done. I'll have an invoice and I'll have a you know, paid receipt, cancel check, and part of the records. So I will be able to prove that this property, we paid to have it clean before the tenants moved in, okay? So that means they have to have it, uh, bring it back to the same level of cleanliness when they move out. So that's down the road. Uh, touch up paint just going through filling holes make sure that there's no holes in the walls uh, I'm not repainting this entire place but do want to take care of the the patches any little holes the little details here it's all about setting the expectation and getting it as as good as possible for the tenants to move in nobody wants to move into a dirty uh, place or something that's in disrepair uh, carpets steam cleaned if there are carpets in the property unless they are brand new installed always 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 i highly recommend to have the carpets professionally cleaned and i'm going to bold and underscore professionally it does not mean go down to safeway or your supermarket and rent a one of those rug doctors don't rent the machine don't do it on your own again hire a professional company somebody who does it you know, as a business and Third party company have them do it and you can't you should not skimp on that at all because carpets are going to show their age they're going to show stains uh, the fibers are going to come back and they hold in odors pet odors etc so unless it is brand new 
um, I always recommend get a professional steam cleaning company to clean those carpets. The second benefit, again, is that you will have a record, you'll have an invoice from a third party company to prove that they were done. My lease actually states that um, the landlord, property manager, will have the property professionally cleaned and carpets steam cleaned prior to tenants moving in. As a result, the tenants are responsible per the lease agreement that the proper that the carpets will be steam cleaned upon vacating the premises. So, if the tenants move out and they do not professionally have those carpets steam cleaned by a company, then I will do it, we will do it, and we will charge it against the tenant security deposit because it's uh, not only bring it, bringing it back to the same level of cleanliness minus expected normal wear and tear, but it is also contractual, it's part of the lease agreement Tenants must steam clean the professionally, steam clean the carpets upon vacating the premises. Um, all moving down the list, all personal items removed. The landlord should not, in my opinion, this is my my humble but accurate opinion. Uh, owners should not leave any personal belongings in the property, and not just because one they could be stolen, damaged, um, etc but because the tenants moving in, especially if it's a single family home, the tenants moving in want to make it a home. They want to make it their home. They don't want the owner keeping stuff. They don't want the landlord to store stuff in the garage. And there's a couple reasons for that as well. One, they don't want to see somebody else's stuff. They have their own stuff to bring in. They might want to park cars in there and store their own belongings. But if a landlord stores items in the property, in the rental property, there's this, even though it's not said, it may be an underlying concern, the tenants might be thinking, well, if the tenant, the landlord's storing tools and items here in the storage shed, are they just going to show up whenever they want? Are they going to show up on a Sunday when we're having breakfast with the family? Are they going to be walking by when you know, the missus is getting changed in the morning? No, they, they don't want an additional reason for the landlord to just be stopping by and either uh, have an invasion of privacy or um, disrupting the right to quiet enjoyment. And that is a legal term. You have to give the tenants their right to quiet enjoyment, let them enjoy that property without an invasion of privacy or becoming an uh, over, overburdening nuisance. Uh, remove all personal items, remove all trash. I, this is not a requirement, but I do recommend pressure washing concrete surfaces. For example, the driveway. Pressure wash the driveway, degrease it. Most driveways, and I'm driving down, and I see this, like, God, I see them everywhere. So many places probably have not been pressure washed and degreased in years, if not ever, okay? And it's just, it happens, it's not something that people do even just homeowners themselves let alone rental properties it's not required it's just it builds up grease and dirt over time it looks ugly in my opinion and i just know for a fact because i've done pressure washing myself on driveways and concrete services and the difference once you do it it's a night and day so it's purely cosmetic but i do recommend it uh replacing light bulbs throughout the place going top to bottom just making sure that things are ready to go